I'm usually sitting here talking to myself, so I thought I'd take up the sound space with something better than <laughs> me rambling. Thanks for being here. Hope everybody's well. Hi, Steph. Sunny. Sunny, are you in Walnut Creek? Walnut Creek is as good as Walnut Grove in my eyes. <laughs> so I'm glad that you're there. Who's <laughs> on the road? <sighs> well, <laughs> I'm certainly glad to be here, but I must say that it was a it was a rather rocky road getting to this spot right here today. So I thank you for joining me. I feel better sitting here now. And uh, yeah, today was, it's been tough. <laughs> I hope you, you're all, have, hi Annie. I hope you're all having an easeful day. That's what I wish for you. And of course I had a big list of songs and right now I, I'm not feeling keen on any of them, but um, we'll begin at the beginning. I want to show you something really quick, though. I, um, when I was really, really, probably too pregnant with Arrow to travel, to be, you know, going road tripping and stuff, I took uh, Emma and Gabby and um, Opal to the Cleveland Art Museum. We stayed in a hotel and we had a couple days up there. I was probably eight months pregnant. And uh, my favorite play, my favorite piece there was this and I bought a postcard and I hope that you can see it. See that? It's got a shine on it right there. It's, um, it's St. John resting on the bosom of Christ. It says it's from like 1300. It's from Germany. Anyway, that was my favorite uh, piece. I just couldn't move myself from in front of that. It's made of wood. It's carved in wood. And the reason I'm sharing that now, well, there's a lot of reasons to share that, but <laughs> right now. But this first song is about my dad. My dad's name was John, and my dad was a doctor, and he was a really compassionate, uh, gentle soul. And uh, so this song uh, always reminds me of him. Sorry. <laughs> Pardon that. Fall in every joy. 
spark of your splendor fills me up with wonder. How could I ever lose sight of you? In the sunrise, in the sunfall, in every joy, in every disappointment, the mark. <laughs> I feel like a feather today. You know that feeling? Light as a feather? I'm not stiff as a board, but I feel light as a feather today. And that's not necessarily a good or bad thing, I don't know. <laughs> so. Again, we're not on the front porch right now because it's too cold. But one day we'll gather on the front porch and one day we'll gather on the front porch in person. In togetherness, physical togetherness one day. But not today. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> How's everybody out there? Good? Good, the bad, and the ugly? And the beautiful? I'm really marveling at the human experience right now. Um, I'm gonna probably ramble a lot today. <laughs> the reason being is I, I um, was really beating myself up today at my uh, musicianship and my pipes. My wee pipes. They don't feel too strong, you know? Just in general, I don't, you know, I'm not like a strong. And I was really feeling that today, so I'm making excuses for not singing. <laughs> anyway, I'm, feel, I'm uh, really uh, interested in the human experience and all the light and dark of that, and just kind of marveling at that today within myself and all of us, and within all of us, and, um, and kind of having a distaste for false positivity right in this moment, and I hope that you take that in the most positive way, because it's part of the human experience, you know, all of it, all the light and all the shadow, all the things in between, all the grief and all the joy, all those things kind of where I'm at today. <laughs> Marveling at it. Um, another thing that I'm on a lighter note, on another, another thing that I'm marveling at, or maybe not such a light note, I don't know, that I'm marveling at is today, I, uh, this morning, or in the nighttime, before I awakened this morning, I had a dream, a really, really vivid dream. I was so it was a really strong dream, and um, I was in a certain place, and I was um, taking a bath in water, in this clear water, and I was jumping on rocks, and I was in this certain place, and then when I woke up, of course, I like looked at Facebook, because I have a problem with that, and um, in my memories, there was a two memories of this song called Matol, which was the place where I was in my dream. So I had a memory from this day last year where we were uh, playing as a group, playing that song, which was so lovely to remember. And then there was another memory from the previous year on this day where I went live like this. That's like when I first started doing it, right when I wrote the song and sharing it. So this day has something to do with that place, and that place was in my dream before <laughs> I woke up and saw those memories. So um, I'm gonna sing it, and I might have saw, uh, might have sung it last week, but I think the song is asking me to revisit it. 
And maybe it's asking you to revisit it too. <laughs> maybe there's something in there for you too. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> that memory excuse me I keep bending down and wiping my nose <laughs> hope you're all doing good tonight <laughs> did you get outside today even though it was cold I got outside to go check the ramps up on the hill and they're just wee right now, little, but there's so many, it's really beautiful. And then I, uh, I went out to gather some, we're out of greens, so I've been eating out of the lawn. <laughs> so I went out to gather some dandelion leaves and some garlic mustard and some uh, violet leaves. So I got outside for that and to take the compost out. But um, missing that sunshine we had. I look forward to that return of that. <laughs> Sunny, how am I doing? I feel very disembodied right now. 
My friend Shannon uh, did a live video on Sunday. She's amazing. Her voice is exquisite. It's so beautiful. And uh, she was saying how she hadn't practiced and she felt like it was her practice time. And that's what I feel like right now because I haven't been playing. I, this is the time that I get to play is right here. <laughs> I usually get really excited about this. I look forward to it so much and I love that I have something that I'm accountable for once a week. That's really motivating and it gets my creative juices flowing but then the day of I kind of fall apart. <laughs> kind of how I am with uh, shows anyway when they're in person too. <laughs> so I guess it follows suit. This is just even like a little bit more awkward because I'm looking at myself. It's perturbing. I'm drinking my peppermint tea, laced with a lot of CBD. <laughs> Hoping for a mellow mood. You know, Bob Marley was also in my dream last night. He was getting stuff out of the refrigerator, and he was like, um, on his haunches, you know, like in front of the bent down, like getting stuff out of the fridge. And I just remember his profile, his locks. Another beautiful part of my dream <laughs> last night. All right, speaking of memory, I'm trying to think of nice segues. One day I'll get good at this. Maybe I won't. <laughs> uh, so memories, I think, are really can be really good, and uh, I've I've been very self-critical at different times for uh, kind of kind of dwelling in past stuff. Um, not that I want to recreate the past at all, but like things that make you feel good from the past, you know, kind of like reveling in those things, you know, and while that can make it so that you're not fully present in this moment, <laughs> for me, those kind of, they're kind of like dreams, you know, and uh, sorry, I have to take this off. Um, they're kind of like dreams and I draw a lot from my dreams. I derive a lot of happiness remembering them and I, some of them, some of them make me think about other stuff. Maybe it doesn't make me happy, but stuff that I need to think about. So I wrote this uh, song, um, thinking about that. It's called Holy Ghosts. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Peaceful scavenger.
with you I long to feel love again So I dream Feed the fire with the heart from my hand It's 100 degrees in the shade But the ice winds blowing down called Holy Ghosts and then in parentheses after it's called Death Death Be My Muse so I wasn't going to say that latter half, Death Be My Muse but <laughs> in light of you know the current situation but truly <laughs> um, the one guarantee that we have at all times besides being born in this life, no matter if there's a global pandemic or if you're in perfect health or you're young or old or whatever. Oh, it's starting to rain. Um, is that you will be born and you are guaranteed that you will also die. And it's so taboo to talk about that and it's not meant to be, you know, depressing. It's very griefsome and sad. But it's true and um, so the presence of that, like Sunny says, you know, Deathy is my true companion, watching over my left shoulder, you know, she says in her song. Uh, it's true, it's presence, presence is always there, so best that we, you know, live now. <laughs> Be here now, live here, enjoy it, whatever you have in your heart to give, give it, put it all out there, lay it all out on the table. So that's what I'm talking about. Death be my muse. <laughs> um, I'm playing my little silver tome today. My St. Vinny special. Um, I'm having some trouble with my guitar. It's staying in tune, I think. Hi, Trucky. Trucky came. See my cat? He sees me right here. Stop that. Stop that. Um... I think my bridge is coming up again on it and it won't stay in tune and my tuner's um, acting a little wonky like I need a new battery and I'm out of batteries so I'm out of tune tonight sorry hey mister you stop that you stop that <laughs> Trucky likes to be close but he's an outdoor kitty so How y'all doing out there? Good? Dude, come on, Buster. I'm not being mean, but it's like, it's a scratchy sound. It's a little hard, it's like chalkboard. <laughs> Don't you worry, Chucky gets lots of love around here. Just, 
I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my list. Very, very splayed on this day. Got some, uh, I'm feeling real homesick, mostly for my kid. I don't think she's watching right now because she said it, she said it makes her sad to watch when I go live, it makes her really homesick. And she's she's living with my mom in California, the house I grew up in. So I've got some songs for California on the docks tonight. <laughs> This is one of them. Oh, I want to say, I, it's funny because last week, there's been so much great live music. It's so awesome. And I only get out if I'm playing. So it's been great to see like local people because I don't usually get to go see them. Um, but it was funny because last Thursday, it was like Nako and then Adrian and then, what was it? Anyway, there was like all these people playing. It was Nako and then Adrian and then it was Jeremiah and then it was Sunny. It was like all the people in a row. And Nako and Adrian and Jeremiah all were all talked about not wanting to repeat songs. <laughs> Which I'm sure they all have plenty of they don't repeat. And I try to do the math. I could probably do a lot of shows and not repeat, but then I wouldn't be singing songs that I feel like playing. <laughs> so And I wouldn't mind any of those people repeating songs ever. They're all amazing. Their songs don't get old. So I know that I've played this recently. Down 
top screen high on the first day of May. Citrus blood eased its flow. I took rest on the ground in the grove that loved me. And the orange blossoms on my casket took the whole room to heaven. my great-grandpa. <laughs> it's my summation of his, parts of his life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys aren't chatting much today. <laughs> Feel on the spot. That's a lemon tree over there. smell really good you know what's a really nice thing to do if you have um, any kind of like pine or fir trees um, I have some we have a white pine but we also there's like some Douglas fir and stuff the wind always usually you know she'll blow so that there's some little branches and pieces on the ground so go pick some of those up try to avoid you know cutting them off and then you can, um, you know, break the branches a little bit to release the scent. And then I have a little ball jar and I've stuck them in there. I've had the same ones in there for a few days and just smell over the top. And it's a really safe and um, beautiful direct way to have some aromatherapy. <laughs> I don't know why I thought about that. Maybe because I looked out the window and saw the pine trees. Because maybe it, it will put your mind at ease. Put your heart at ease. And I'm going to really like focus on breathing today, which is good. We should all do that. Focus on our breath. Um, can you hear me okay? Like, is the sound okay? singer so can somebody if anybody's actually there <laughs> can you tell me if the sound is okay class anyone class anyone maybe this is a good moment for a smoke break I don't know I don't mean going to smoke Probably not a good idea to be smoking anything right now. <laughs> Here we go. Hey guys. Are you and me and everyone? Here we go. <sighs> well, it's a good as it's a as good a time as any to humbly do a cover song. And um, this is much better in its original form. <laughs> so I recommend you have a listen to that. But it's one of my very favorite songs of all time. And it really captures like the real essence of my home place. <laughs> I'm a big connoisseur of songs about my my home place. <laughs> um, and of all of them, this is the best one I've ever heard. <laughs> ever. So, uh, yeah. If I mess it up, I'm sorry. Like I said, listen to the original. <laughs>
think that's one of the best songs ever, ever to be written. It's an Adrian Niles song. It's amazing songs. How y'all doing out there? quiet tonight. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Thanks. I was just drinking some, I'm um, not drinking it now, but I was drinking the uh, Joshar, Joshanda, I think that's what it's called, that Mindy turned me on to a couple of years ago at the Christmas show, and I lost my voice. And, uh, <laughs> And I ordered a couple boxes, and they're coming in handy right now, aren't they? <laughs> it's a tasty little drink. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, if you're listening, you just have me tucked over in a little corner somewhere nice and cozy maybe you're chopping some vegetables maybe you're watching TV <laughs> maybe you're doing two things at once maybe you're drawing maybe you're nursing your child You could be doing, maybe you're going to the bathroom. <laughs> you could be doing anything. Hi, Nicholas. Hello. Guys.
Kilter tonight, guys. Folks. Permission to feel off, off kilter. Off wonkiness is welcome and appreciated in these in these parts. My tuner's doing that. Ryan, all those heart snakes. My tuner's doing that thing I told you about. don't have a battery. I still haven't been out for, I think it's been three weeks now. I haven't been to, like, I haven't done any kind of shopping or anything. Um, and the time will be coming soon that I have to go on that adventure. I'm, and I'm not looking forward to it, but I obviously need a battery for my tuner, so... All it's saying is F over and over. do. <laughs> I do pig. I wish I took requests. That would be really cool. I mean, I do, but I don't know a lot of songs. But if you have a request, you know, you can always try me. You can try me. You can try me. <laughs> I already did the request that I know. I mean, not the request. I already did the cover that I know. <laughs> I might do one more. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, we'll go for this. Since I can't think of a new tune to sing, we'll go with the song that starts out with just those words. <laughs> Oh, man, he 
taught me to draw them in gold, golden triangles all around. He learned it in turn from Lynn the Light Weaver. On the day that he told me, I thought I would die. It's called 1111. Dad, have it. My tuner's not working. Um, I don't know if, uh, hold on. Oh, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I see that people are watching. Is anybody typing anything ever? It's okay if not. Usually, there's at least, like, one thing, like, if I say, does it sound okay, somebody says, like, yeah, it sounds like crap, or, yeah, it sounds okay. <laughs> but I'm not seeing any comments, and that's totally cool, but I just uh, didn't know if I keep, like, at, if I ask, like, what time it is or something. I might need to ask somebody at his house, maybe. Affirmative? Not affirmative? No comments? going on with that. Let's see what, let me play with it real quick. Live video options. No, I'm seeing lots of hearts. I don't know if that means like yes <laughs> or what. Here, watch, I'm going to do this. What? No, okay, it's not letting me do that. All right, well, right on then. I can't see if you're commenting. <laughs> for some reason, which kind of sucks. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Or if you're able to, I don't even know if you're able to. <laughs> I don't know. You don't have to say anything. Like I said, pull me in the corner. I'm about to get real snarky with this snark. Keep saying F, 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 F. And then it says F again. And then it says F one more time. That uh, makes me want to say F. But I won't. Not here. Maybe another time. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was called 1111. I wrote it on 1111. Okay. This is going to be real nice when it's front porch time, for real. And I'm not encouraging anyone to come out. Like, I'm really only speaking to one person here, but if you happen to be on the road and you want to, like, when we're doing it on the porch, sit, like, 15 feet away. It would be nice to see you in person. You know who you are. It really would. Um, how about you know what? I'm I'm sadly for my family. I'm really feisty today. I think it's like moon cycle, but I also think that it's because I've had a lot more 
I mean, we all have a lot more, like, anxiety, and I've had a lot more, like, panic um, stuff happening, and um, it kind of, like, comes out as, like, um, like very irritable, and I don't mean to be like that, because I'm a pretty easygoing person, so I feel bad for like, the people around me. I just get, like, silent, and then, like, I get really not uh, sound sensitive. <laughs> you know what I mean? fun to play that with the group. <laughs> it can be more fun. I really wish I could uh, get feedback from you guys, but that 
just ain't working. It's a bummer, man. I can like wave to you. I waved to Orion and I waved to Kara. <laughs> but I like can't. Fold a life of me. Figure that out. All right, well, so be it. If you're talking to me, I'm not assuming you are, but if you are, I'd be talking back to you. For sure. I feel like a door's about to open. Um, how about... I'll do cover. <laughs> kind of. Or not. Yes, no, maybe so. See, I can't get your feedback, so. Right on. It's just what's happening. It's just what's happening. Sorry, I'm like playing with this. I always feel a lot better when I can like talk to you guys. I'm just waving at people. Please know, if you stopped in, then you are acknowledged, and I love you. <laughs> Shannon, thanks. See, if I do that, then all hearts go in. <laughs> Playing with it, I've never had that happen before. And I can't tell you what time it is, and last time I went way long. A heart if it's been an hour starting now give me a heart if it's been an hour it has it's seven o'clock okay all right I'll just do a little bit more I feel like I'm not on my game tonight I apologize everybody I'll play a Towns Van Zandt song, and then I'll um, maybe do one or two more, and, um, and then I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. When she don't need me, it makes me crazy.
she find me she will take me home but she don't need me it makes me crazy she said rest easy and it makes Well, friends, <laughs> this is a little awkward tonight because I couldn't, um, like, see you guys. I felt like I wasn't seeing you because I wasn't able to, like, communicate if you were communicating with me. So, I apologize for any awkwardness. Um, maybe have one more? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> hmm. I can't remember what I did last weekend. I already did repeat, so. <laughs> I think. Yeah, that might be it, guys. a good place to stop <laughs> thanks for stopping in I hope uh, next week that I'm a little more grounded and not feeling so much like a feather feather weight <laughs> feather brain um, I hope that you have a beautiful evening um, I hope that you're taking good care of yourselves and staying in, staying away from people, going inside, feeling nourished inside, and also getting outside. Lay on that ground, be barefoot. Forage for some food, everyone. It's really important. And... <laughs> okay, I hear my boy in there laughing. Hear him? My laughter is really good for you. All right, all. We're going to continue on our Harry Potter mar movie marathon tonight. Followed by some Little House. We finished the entire Little House series. We always go back to the beginning now. And it's really gotten us quite ready for, <laughs> for the current situation. Because, yeah, the first thing Opal was like, let's watch the quarantine episode. <laughs> and then there was the episode where Everybody got sick because rats had, someone was selling uh, corn for real cheap in a neighboring town. And it was because it was infested with rats. So it was like the plague came. And yeah, anyway, so <laughs> we were watching all this. <laughs> yep, we feel very prepared. All right, everybody, take care. Have a beautiful night. See you next time.